and welcome back to Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. We should probably head to bed. We can't travel till morning anyways. Oh wait, am I gonna have to buy my own train tickets? That might be a problem. Then again, the band should pay for anything. Also, I'm not gonna order lobster because I can't afford it. Although we are probably gonna be starving when we get up. Although I do have potatoes and like some bread, so we'll be fine. Also, do we get a new nickname today? Nope. How are we doing on food? Uh, we're snacking. Let's grab a bite to eat real quick. There we go. Gotta love potatoes. They fill you up so much for something that's really cheap. Plus, I think later we can just pick them from fields uh, for free. So they're a good way to get some food. Milk is also a good choice just because it's so cheap. Anyways, I think we're meeting over at the station. But before we do that, I'm gonna go get more stocks. Hi. Hi there. Oh, I passed right through that one. Also, technically, we don't need to go to our car every time. Or not our car. Oh, is it a Sunday? Oh, it's Sunday. Never mind. Fine. We'll buy stocks later. Let's just head over to the station. Uh, where's the nearest trolley stop? Right here. Let's just wait and then head over to... Uh... Well, we have to wait until it comes here first, but... We're gonna head over to the Station Hotel. Or not the Station Hotel, the uh... Darling Arena would be the closest thing, actually. Also, where's the trolley? Hmm. Normally it's here by now. Oh, here it comes. Let's wait. Although, at this point, it might have just been faster to walk. Because I think it's, like, right directly behind us. Like, through that alleyway. Also, we are going to Garland Arena. Also, I like how you can see us, but no one else. Also, I think we're sitting like we're piloting a Trotmobile. They might just reuse that, uh, sitting model. Either that or our hands are just in a really weird position. No, it is the Trotmobile driving pose, because you can see the right hand, like, gripping the stick and the left hand gripping the wheel. It's kind of funny. I always found it interesting how sometimes they just cut costs by reusing models. Also, that would explain why we don't have any legs. Alright, we're here. Let's just annoy the driver. Actually, the station hotel probably would have been closer. Because we were getting dropped off on, like, the other side. Okay. Whoa. Anyway, station ho- not station hotel. Uh, train station's right over here. I think we can enter through- I would, yeah, we have to enter through the main one. Let's go. You're late! Where the heck were you? Let's mention the hospital. I stopped by St. John's Ward. Last night, but St. John's that's Ward? beside the point. Like the hospital? Did you see your father? Oh, I, I guess I'm not Mallow after all. Oh, well, if Sir John said it, it's probably true. I prefer it this way anyway. I didn't want him to be Mallow. You know, for all the mentions you guys make of Mallow, you don't actually know what he looks friend, like. That's all that matters. Come on. Excuse me. We need to load one more Trotmobile on board. You've got to be kidding. We're already packed full. Oh. What are we going to do now? Jeez, this is because you took so long. Looks like you're walking to New Haven, buddy. And of course, yeah, it's not going to be that easy. No train for us. That really looks like the only way. Would you mind? He doesn't know how to get there. I'll show him the way. 
Hmm, no, we're gonna take Connie. Oh, where would I be without you, Connie? Just leave it to me. All right, perfect. Let's get on the train. Oh, Basil, did you give Connie that sheet of music? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, whoops. From Dandelion. Didn't he give it to you? I forgot oh, to give I that. Totally forgot. What? You have it, don't you? Are you talking about this? Yeah, I probably should have given that to her yes. last night. What a relief. I'm glad he gave it to you. Yeah, if you forgot to give her anything, you would just give it to her now. Be careful, you two. I'll be waiting by your truck mobile, okay? This should be fun. Well, of course it wouldn't be that simple. Guess we're walking through the dangerous backwoods of... I think we have to go back through Cuckoo Forest, actually. Alright, let's get going. There's not much else we need to do in town, although I should probably stop by the motor shop. I think we still have some damage from la our last trip. Also, let's just call my trauma being over here. Along with Connie, of course. Alright, so, before we head out, let's head over to the motor shop. And I think we want to go through the... No, yeah, the New Haven. This place has so many exits. I was gonna say that's not that's not a Nephroberg, that's New Haven. They have some really similar names in this game sometimes. It gets confusing. Although at some point I do want to head back to Nephroberg. There's some, there's some stuff we need to do there. All right, so let's just repair real quick. Ah, uh, thirty. Can I buy? Uh, actually, no. I don't have the money to buy anything. Also, I'm just going to keep the carriage and the license plate on, in case I find anyone I can pick up on the way. A bit of extra cash won't hurt. How far away is the exit? Oh, it's right over there. Also, at some point I should probably do the orphanage side quest. We did kind of promise we would bring back stuff. I think we can give them the books, actually. Oh yeah, New Haven exit's right over here. And fortunately, there's no traffic on the way out. Unlike a real city, where there would be pretty much backed up all the way up here. But yeah, at some point I want to change my legs. I kind of want to get the centaur legs from the killer elephants. Also, it sounds like they're not doing so well over at Skylark Farms. We should probably stop by there. So yeah, now this way should be open. Yep, oh, is it? Nope, never mind. They won't let you use the shortcut. I don't know why. Right now they're just being dicks. Uh, no one's at the bus stop. Let's go. Alright, let's see what robots wait for us this time. And by robots, I mean crazy people. Because technically there aren't any self-sufficient robots in the area, in this uh, world. They're all piloted by people. Although it's a farm, what could possibly- Oh my god, this is a big farm. What could possibly attack us on a farm? I mean, look how peaceful it is. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not wheat. Let's stop by the main uh, farmhouse, too. Where is the main farmhouse? Also, you remember when I said nothing would attack us on the farm? I lied. These guys will try to kill us. When they said the farm was going downhill, I didn't think they would start resorting to murder. And theft. But nope. Also, these guys are so annoying to hit with something that isn't like a direct melee weapon. There we go. That was annoying. Uh, there's another one behind us, isn't there? Yep. Actually, you know what? I do have a direct melee weapon. They're called trees. And you are dead. No, you're not. One more hit. There we go. 
He got low damage out on us, but we're fine. So yeah, for some reason, I don't know why the farmers really don't like me right now. I mean, we're not Mallow. Everyone apparently wants him gone. Uh, where's the entrance? I think it's over on this side, actually. Let's hope we don't get attacked by more rogue farm equipment. Let's see what's going on around here. Hey, mister! Do you travel a lot? Ever been to Vision Ranch? Actually, yes, I have. Been there. Really? I have a friend who lives there. Could you maybe give him this next time you go? Okay. Could you just that mail this? Okay? Well, guess we're playing delivery, boy. Alright, better not forget that. So next time I'm in Vision Rant, I'll drop off the letter. But yeah, technically the farm equipment are just bandits who kind of stole farm equipment. Hmm, maybe we should help them out. I mean, we are blown up a couple of them. Let's see what else is going on. Can we have a horse? I want a horse. Yep. Well, that could be a problem, considering we need to get there. Hi, horsies. We can't take a horse, though. Although, we can get a bicycle at some point in the game. Actually, I think I can do that on the way back to New Haven. Not to New Haven, uh, Nephroburg. What paper dragonfly? Oh, that's just a paper airplane. Oh, right! They don't have airplanes in this world, do they? So I guess it would make sense that it's not called a paper airplane. Also, how many of those do you have? Yeah, I never thought of that, actually. Alright, let's see what else is going on around the farm. Sounds like Ammo went to the uh, big city, which isn't that far away. Hmm. Okay, she hasn't left yet, but she wants to go. Hi, Connie. What are you doing? Okay, you just want to go to New Haven. I'll take you there eventually. Right now we're doing side quests. You agreed to this life when you decided to come with me. So yeah, Admiral wants to go to the big city. I don't think we can do anything about it, though. And there's nothing here to take. Also, where's Connie? She's stuck outside. There she is. Hi, Connie! I forgot, NPCs don't usually know how to use doors. Either that or she's stuck. Nope, she's fine. Let's see, anything good in the mill? Although I think the reason they don't follow you inside is just so they don't block, like, entrances and exits. Ooh, found something. Ooh, overalls. Let's change into those. Also, we're still stuffed, which is good. Uh, where are they? Still can't believe I'm wearing this thing. Uh, we can't read it. No, don't switch it up. Now we look like a farmer. Still no shoes. Guess I'll wear this for a little while. Although it does look a lot like what Maldrum's wearing. Wonder if he'll comment on it. Alright, I'm pretty sure we've looked everywhere, I think. Uh, there shouldn't be anything back here. No, wait, never mind, I lied. I think it's just bread or something, though. Oh no, boots! I'm not gonna wear them, but we have boots. Alright, let's get out of here. They did mention there was some jerk block in the way to New Haven. Uh, I think this is the way to New Haven. Actually, I think that's New Haven right over there. 
Actually, wait, is that New Haven? I don't remember. Or is that just the way back to Happy Garland? You look familiar. Hey, you're the guy I fought at Fort Raven. Oh, hi, Dudley. This is good timing. Could you take this to a girl named Aloe at that farm? Um, okay, I was just there. Bring back a response, too. I'll be waiting here. And don't you dare read it. Fine. Uh, oops. Let's read it. So, yeah, Dudley's back. I don't know how he made it here before. Actually, no, we kind of dicked around in Happy Garland for a while. But, yeah, New Haven's right over there. Let's see what he r was writing. Aww. They want to elope. Well, let's go deliver the letter. Uh, we need to head back up to the farmhouse. Ella was the girl inside the barn. Or not the barn, the uh, farmhouse. Theoretically, I should have probably just gone talk to Dudley beforehand, but eh. It's not going to take that long. Hey, Alo, I have something for you. Yep. Okay. Wonder what she responded. Let's see, according to this, where is it? Uh... Okay. I do like how they kind of play with expectations there. Not so much that they're in love, it's that he's kind of stalking her. This can only end badly. So much for true love at first sight. Although I don't even think Alan knows who Dudley is at this point. How we barely know who he is, and we beat him up. To be fair, he was the one picking fights. Well, let's see how he responds to this. Oh, no! Em, this is all your fault, you wuss! Ah, you ruin everything! You know what, Dudley? <laughs> Serves you right. I don't need your sympathy. Shut up and fight, you little girly man. And of course, we couldn't get through this without a fight. I think you have to fight him no matter what you do. So yeah, technically I don't think you need to win this one either. He just needs to vent. But we are going to win. Because it's Dudley. I don't think he's really changed that much since last time. Probably just has more health. Oh, right, and he has a flamethrower. Alright, let's see what we always do. Come here. Ow, 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 ow. That slightly hurt, actually. Also, I think we're ruining the crops. Alright, let's just back him into a corner. Yeah, he's kind of hard to approach this time. Mostly because of that. But we can still do this. Let's just pick him up and see if we can throw him against a wall. Yeah, he's almost dead. We've got this. Ow, oh my god, that hurt. Two more rockets and he should be gone. There we go. Still not too tough. I won. Although at some point I do actually want a melee weapon. Just cause ranged weapons don't work so well in close range because of how slow they are.
That would just make it more aggressive, though. Not really stronger. You can't pour anger into a robot to make it bigger. My arm part broke. Just you wait. I'll remember this. Bye, Dudley. See you next time. Also, he got his uh, his trombomobile repaired really quickly. Anyways, this should be New Haven. Oh, looks like we've got a customer. Uh, sure. Alzo de Condor is the way to the desert. We'll stop by there later. Either way, she's going to be sitting in the back of her automobile for a few days. Although, I think they leave after a while. If not, oh well, she's going to just be sitting there for a while. Probably should have picked her up later, actually, when I'm on my way back. Because at some point, I do want to head back to that area. Because I think we can get a bike there. Anyways, welcome to New Haven. Marjoram and the others should be at Strand Pier. Come on. It's not that big of a town, but it's a port city. Also, yeah, this lady's gonna be back there for a while because we're not gonna be leaving this place. But yep, yeah, uh, New Haven isn't that big. Like this is the main town right here. Still, it's a nice little place to live. It was like port cities. They're always nice, or not really nice places to live, but they look nice. Plus, it's the ocean. The ocean with all of its horrific glory. Like, have you seen half that stuff they find in the ocean? It is kind of terrifying to think that half that stuff lives on Earth. Alright, but we'll head over there next time. So, next time on Let's Play Steve Bot Chronicles, we're gonna head over and do our concert. So, till then. Also, I should probably save.